The workshop chat is one of the most powerful features in Novel Crafter. There are so many parts to it that some features may have passed by unnoticed. In this video, we will give a countdown of the top five tips for making the most out of Novel Crafter's chat. Let's start with a bonus tip. When you are in the chat interface, you might want to start a new chat. One option, of course, is to go into the sidebar and open up another tab there and then open the thread. For example, if we are already in a chat, we could go chats, new thread, and then open it up. However, a quicker way of doing this is by simply pressing the chat button again. Don't fret, you can always go back to previous chats through the sidebar. Have you ever had the problem where you have hundreds of chats and you don't know where that gem of an idea came from? This can all be solved by naming your chats. The name input can be found in the top right corner of the chat interface. Yeah, so I might call this um, Beat Generation. To rename a chat window from the sidebar, you will first need to open up the chat, so click on the thread open chat, and then you can put it here. By default, the first message is used as the heading for your chat thread, but by renaming them, you can quickly reference the overall topic of the thread. Naming chats also makes it much easier to filter using search too. The chat interface doesn't restrict you to using only one model per conversation. Mid-chat, you can change the model you're chatting with or the parameters of the model that you're currently using. Why would you do this? It might simply be because the original model you're using suddenly throws up moderation errors. I'm looking at you, GPT. Or it might be that you want to try something that's more creative, analytical, or a cheaper model. To change the model mid-chat, all you need to do is click on the prompt selection up in the top bar and select a different model from the list, like this. If your desired model isn't listed, make sure that your prompt has the required settings, which you can alter in the prompt section here. You can also click the Select AI button to change both the prompt and the model at once. This way you can start off with a more sophisticated setup and continue on with some lightweight brainstorming. For example, you could go back to the general purpose prompt using a cheaper model, say, Haiku. To modify the models and prompts available to you, just go into the prompt interface, add and change the models, and come right back again. We'll link you a video to help with this. You can pin a chat to always be visible by selecting a thread from the sidebar. The chat will open as a floating panel if you're in any other mode than chat, like so. If you select the pin button above the chat panel, your chat thread will then be pinned to the side and you can refer to it while working in the other areas of Novel Crafter. This enables you to make changes to your manuscript or plan whilst easily referencing the chat. You can move the pinned bar to the left or right of your view, depending on what your preferences are, by pressing switch side. This tip will only work if your screen is big enough to support the feature. As a rule of thumb, if you can see the menu as separate buttons, then you can pin the chat. So for example, we have the option to pin the chat here. But if we make the screen smaller, you can see that we can no longer have that option. And then it comes back. Have you
you've ever done lots of brainstorming and then you don't really want to copy and paste all that information individually. This is where the extract feature shines. It's available to you for any chat message written by AI and also in the snippets. By clicking extract, you'll be greeted by a model that allows you to insert into or update the data of your codex, copy any scene beats it recognises, or to append chapters to an act in your novel. Here, let me show you each of these in practice. So here we have some scene beats. If I click extract, it's acknowledged scene beats. I have my six here. I can click copy. And if I go into a blank chapter, and paste these, you can see that they all come up with the formatting for beats already in place. So you've uh, brainstormed some characters and you think, oh God, I don't want to have to put all of these into the codex as separate entries. If you go on extract, codex entries, you automatically have them appear here. Now, also note that it will try and link up if you've got any codex entries that already exist and will name match where possible. And if there aren't any, it will offer to make a new entry or you can select and find the relevant entry yourself. These do replace the text that's already there. So keep that in mind when using it. But for new characters, this is a super quick way of adding everything into your codex. And finally, chapters. You can take these, go on to extract. We have the different chapters. And you can then click add to outline and they will append these chapters to the end of your act. The feature is tolerant of formatting. However, if you find that the extract isn't working correctly, you can always ask the AI to reformat its previous answer into a list, which 90% of the time will work. Here's a bonus tip for you. Building up your codex after import, you can ask the AI to list out all of the characters within your book all the locations and so forth by reading the context. So if you go on context and have either the full novel text or you could do a scene, etc. This allows you to quickly populate your codex using chat if you've already imported in your novel. And bonus tip number two, this all works exactly the same in snippets. You can see here we have a snippet and if we go on extract, likewise, it will also extract the different chapters. This is a handy way to quickly import a lot of data from external documentation that you've made. Simply paste its content as a new snippet and then extract. Finally, if you ever want to talk about one of your codex entries within chat, all you need to do is mention them by their name or an alias, exactly the same as you would in the scene beats. If you're curious, you can see which codex entries are already in the chat context by clicking the context button. So we go here, codex entries in thread, and you can see the entries that are already here. This list will fill up over time and collect codex mentions from all the messages within the thread. So if you want to work on fleshing out a certain location, all you need to do is ask the AI, say, brainstorm about the Rathskeller Tavern, and it will pull up the Rathskeller codex entry. You can see here, it's begun talking about the ambience, clientele, staff, menu, keeps all of these together. And now what about if in chapter four, you had a fight happen? You could go to chapter four, put in a codex edition, Pick your tavern, like so. And now if we go back into the same chat as before and also give the context for said scene where this edition happens, you can ask it to brainstorm potential repairs that may be needed now. So here it's given some examples of ideas of what might need repairing. Because we've made the codex edition, the AI now knows that something happened to your place and can give a more nuanced answer um, using the details of your world to help kind of 
put it together. Now, since mentioning a lot of people can get quite tedious, you can create entries that are basically a bundle of a few codex entries together using the nested references. For example, I have here a rebellion entry, and within it, all the members of said rebellion are nested. And that means that when you ask a question, for example, which two members of the rebellion would be most likely to engage in a bar fight, it will then draw up all of their entries when making said decision. So you can see here it gives an example of the two that might be most likely to fight. And you can then use that to re-ask about the damage that happens based on how they fight and what damage might have occurred. For those of you that want to go a step further, you can create entries that serve as a blueprint of topics that you regularly bring up or a template for the AI to follow. Think about a template for a novel outline like Save the Cat to use as a reference for it to follow. You can also have a list of questions preset for if you want to interrogate a character. Or you can have an explanation of a complex concept that you want the AI to use in its answer. For example, we could have, uh, say, this like, care, love framework, and we can reference it just by saying this name. And it means that the AI now knows what we want it to do. In the video description down below, we've provided some further resources to help you make the most of chat. What is your favourite tip for chat? Do you have any that we've not mentioned? Please let us know in the comments below.